What's good, YouTube? Danny Room 94 here to bring you an episode, another episode of our Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies Let's Play. <clears throat> now, in the last episode, we found a contradictory statement in the witness's testimony. And now he's changed up his state statement just a little bit. <clears throat> so that he can save his own ass, because we already know... Because we already know all about that he did it due to the cutscene we've seen. Like, they do that in a couple of the cutscenes. The other one, you literally have to figure it out yourself. That this person did this, murder, this person did this, crime, yada yada yada. The remote switch? Yes, the switch that controls the bomb remotely. Duh. It has been missing ever since the incident. Missing remote switch added to the court record. I am partially to blame. I left the bomb and remote on top of the transport case. And they were rearmed and stolen while I was taking the lawyer, talking with the lawyer. The defendant to then use the bomb, the remote, inside the courtroom to detonate, start the timer. Why? Why would anybody, pissed off at the court or not, go so far as to, and yes, I know I'm going to either get a lot of hate for, for this or not enough. And damn it, I have to restart the computer to actually be able to, uh, ugh. To be able to upload again. The defendant then used the remote, the remote from the inside the courtroom to start the timer. Why would anybody do that, though? How can you assert un unequivocally that the bomb was rearmed in the lobby? The bomb was safely secured in the transport case. The only time it was outside of the case was in that lobby. Therefore, the one and only opportunity anyone had to meddle with it... Someone other than Mr. Tony could have came, opened up the case and taken out the bomb. Uh, sorry about that. I'm looking for a password. Impossible. The trans the transport case is assigned exclusively to me. Do you see this number here? That is my identification number. And I have the only key that can open that case. Bomb transport case added to the court record. Nevertheless, Mr. Payne's assertion is nothing more than conjecture. You have no proof that it was Miss Woods who stole the remote switch. And by the same token, you have no proof that it wasn't her. But what I do have is a piece of evidence that proves that the defendant handled the bomb. You know, it is possible that people can, I don't know, unknowingly do these things. Five minutes, 
24 seconds, 2.3 deciseconds. The defense's advantage lasted a mere five minutes. Er, talk about a rotten hand. As long as they have her fingerprints on the on their trump card, as their trump card, I'm at a big disadvantage. Hmm, it appears as though we will have to hear from the defendant herself once more. I wholeheartedly agree, Your Honor. I would like to recall Miss Woods to the stand. I trust that you have no objections, Mr. Wright. I'm worried about her condition, but we do need her testimony. On the other hand, I'm not sure if I want to make Athena mad. I can read your feelings, you know, boss. Yes, there's no hiding it from her, huh? Don't worry, I know we need her testimony. But if anybody picks on her again, they'll pay. I guess she's already at anger level one. Don't worry, I'll stop the procedure before anything, before I let anything bad happen to her. The defense has no objections, Your Honor. In that case, I will take my leave. But before I do, there is just one thing, one more thing, Mr. Wright, is it? Huh? Me? Yes? Dismantling bombs is my job. Dismantling the case is yours. Do you think you could handle it? <coughs> I look forward to seeing you try. Sure, I heard this guy has decided something, I just know it. Now, if you will excuse me. Bailiff, please go out to the lobby and bring back the defendant. Hi, Athena. She looks even worse off than before. Doesn't matter. Doesn't worry. Don't worry, Junie. We're here for you. Thanks, Athena. I'll do my best, too. You blew up the courtroom because you... I want to punch you in your fucking 3D face! That little toupee you've got, I'm going to kill you with it! Because you bear resentment against the courts, is that correct? No, no, of course not. Well, I... What's that you say? I can barely hear you? Why did I say that like it was a question? I haven't done anything wrong. The prosecutor's scary. What an impudent little girl. Stop acting innocent and tell the truth. This is getting ugly. You rearmed the bomb because you wasted. The, you wanted to blow up the courthouse. Admit it. That's why you went to the lobby where Mr. Justice was. Isn't that right? Like, uh -huh. Mr. Wright, can I go give that prosecutor a smack? Honestly, I would cheer you on to do this, but knowing Mr. Wright, what? Of course not. Do we have to, to review courtroom manners 101 again? You can't let a creep like that bully innocent girl. Girls like this soft so easily. <coughs> I haven't forgotten how, about how he treated you. Don't worry about me. Just tell Judy. Sorry, my hand is a bit shaky because of that cough. Her heart's crying out. She's so scared. So very scared. It's like a fool is picking up something with her heightened sense of hearing. I can switch hands. Just like that. Wait, what? 
And it sounds like this time it's the voice of Ju Mick Woods' heart. Don't deny it, you stole the remote switch and used it in the courtroom, didn't you? Your Honor, please put a stop to this. Mr. Payne is badgering, badgering the defendant. Yes, Miss Woods does seem quite frightened. Mr. Payne, I ask that you behave more like a gentleman. Ah, but don't you know, Your Honor? There is no more a gentleman than in this world than I. I want to make a remark, but I'm pretty sure I'll piss a bunch of people off, even though, even with the 11 subscribers, I'll piss at least four of them off. As if a gentleman, or even a gentle man, would behave like he does. Don't let that rude ruffian win. Cena! How dare you call a gentleman such as I? A rude ruffian. I'll have you know that I attended a manners class every Saturday. I'm more, more than just a gentleman. I'm a genteel man. I want to punch you so hard in your face let your balls explode. Not when you're terrorizing a young lady, you're not. I'd demand my money back from that manners class if I were you. Hurt. I should probably be the adult here and stop the two of them, but... Mr. Payne, that will be enough. Certainly, Your Honor. No further questions. Let's move on to the defendant's testimony. Miss Woods, please share with the court what you were doing when the bomb went off. When the bomb went off. Well, that day I was watching from the gallery. Cough, cough, cough. The bomb went off, cough, cough. And rubble started falling. And fell, it fell on top of me, cough, cough. Junie's clearly in pain being forced to recall the bombing like this. She can't even get her words out. This isn't going to work, so what now? Hey, wait a minute. Even if she can't vocalize what she want, wants to say, we can listen to what's inside her heart. Yes, now's the perfect time to use Athena's power. You can hear it, can't you, Athena? The cries of Miss Woods' heart? Yes, and they sound incredibly strange. She's so scared, I think she could collapse any second. Athena has a unique ability, you see. With her finely tuned sense of hearing, she can hear the sound words of a witness's heart. In essence, she can sense how a person is really feeling from their tone of voice. Guess it's all up to Athena and her special ability now. Athena, I want you to use the analytical psychology you studied, and listen to the testimony of Miss Woods. Okay, boss. I'll give it a go. After all, this is the whole reason I put all that effort into studying analytical psychology. How do I pronounce that? Alf gets. Let's do this. Are you Russian? Actually, I honestly don't know what language that is. So, your holographic thingamabob can show us how Miss Woods is feeling, right? In a nutshell, yes. The emotions and images that I picked up just now while listening to her testimony. I can enter all that into widget and use the mood matrix to analyze them. There we go. There's mood, mood markers that here that reflect your weight in Junie's emotions. This is pretty much just a tutorial, so I'll probably skip it. Hurry up. I like how each emotion has a sound, though. That's kind of cool. So with your special ability in Widget's Mood Matrix program, we can track how we saw Miss Woods fleeing. Uh, let's 
see. Talk about the wonders of technology. Yep. Give it a shot. I'm picking up on some kind of discord or noise in Junie's heart. See here. This is the noise that noise looks like in uh, the mood matrix. As a result of inconsistencies between her testimony and her feelings. If we can pinpoint these inconsistencies, the noise level should drop. Okay, it's not time to listen to this Woods' true testimony. See, that day, she was watching from the gallery, cough cough. The bomb went off, which would be surprising to anyone, so there's no contradictory shit there. And the rubble started falling. It fell on top of her. Well, nobody would be happy with uh, rubble falling on top of them. So. It fell on top of her and it says that she's happy, but why would anybody be happy that rubble would fall on top of somebody? Pinpoint happy. Which it is Roger's joy when Mr. Miss Woods recalls rubble falling on her. There must be a re reason for this unexpected emotion. Miss Woods, as the rubble was falling, was there also something that made you happy? What? Mr. Wright, the feeling of Jun Junie's happiness is spreading throughout Junie's heart. Keep going on this point. I bet Judy will start to calm down. Great, let's hear what she has to say. Um, huh. Just as I was about to escape the courtroom, the bomb went off. I was start so startled that so I tripped. And then rubble started falling on top of me. I thought I was done for. But just this. She's knitting hearts. What the fuck? Apollo came and rescued me. Apollo? He used his own body to shield me from the rubble. So that's why when he sustained those j injuries. How do you feel, Judy? Did talking about Apollo give you some courage? Yes. Apollo is just like the sun. Strong and bright and warm. Well, he is named after a Greek god. So, yeah, that's probably it. Just talking about him makes me feel feel a leaf under photosynthesis. Undergoing photosynthesis, so, sorry. And you see, your coughing stopped all of a sudden. Oh, you're right. Thank you, Lena. Looks like we were able to draw out some new testimony. Hehe. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? And there's still some noise left, meaning... There must still be some discord in Junie's heart. Hmm. I guess we'll have to keep going, then. Let me input this new information and update the mood matrix, and we'll be good to kill. You remember what to do, right? When I find an unexpected emotion, I should touch pinpoint. That's right. And when you select the unexpected emotion... Get rid of the fucking tutorial already! I tried to run, but I was too slow. Bomb going off, she got happy because Apollo saved her ass. And then she becomes sad, so... You were happy when Mr. Justice rescued you, weren't you? Yes, I was really happy. But, was there something you felt sad about at the time? Sad? The reason I ask is when you were describing how you rescued, we sensed a little sadness, too. Oh! I think it's probably because of bum rap writing. 
Bum rap Riny? Well, what do you know? Something new. That's right. I... I brought my stuffed animal, Bum rap Riny, to watch the trial with me. Bum rap Riny and Pony Fancy are brothers. Who knew that the legal world could inspire a whole line of merchandise? I had bum rap riding with me while I was watching the trial, but it wasn't until Paula saved me that I realized I'd lost him as I was running away. My poor riding, a victim of that terrible bomb. Oh, I know. You can see what he looks like in this poster. For the evidence, the campaign to eradicate fake evidence. It's for the campaign to eradicate fake evidence and false charges. Pony fancy and bum rap riding, huh? Nothing against the campaign, but why wouldn't why an elephant and a rhinoceros? Mr. Wright, I don't sense any discord in Junie's heart anymore. So I guess that means we managed to draw it all out of her testimony. That's right. I'll just make an update with the new info and we'll have the whole picture. So do you think her new testimony will help? Absolutely. I don't know what I would have done without you, Athena. So, Bum Rap Riney was in that courtroom when the bomb went off. Now that we know that, it changes the meaning of that other piece of evidence. And all I have to do is present it at the right statement. I was watching from the gallery with Bum Rap Riney. Paula rescued her. Uh, I don't really like repeating myself and repeating the te testimony, so that's why I did that. Could be right there. Present it. Objection! This was your, your statement contradicts this piece of evidence. Oh, I forgot to press her! Damn it! I almost was out of time on the, on the recorder here. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we lost just a bit of life bar here. Um, I'm gonna end the episode here. Smack the like, but like button to get your wallet back. The bastard, uh, the bastard stole it from you while you were watching. And I will... See you guys in the next video.